What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. And as you can tell from the title and what's in the background, today I'm gonna be doing my full brand new race car trailer tour. So I've been wanting to do this video for about the past month, ever since we went racing with it on March 31st, and I saw how great it was to have a little bit of a bigger trailer, a lot more space. I think this thing fits our racing needs, whether it's in the outlaw cart or the sprint car. Sometimes we could even run double duty shows, like for example at Cottage Grove, Friday night in the outlaw cart, and Saturday night in the sprint car. Or if we just wanna go sprint car racing, we can have the quad up front and the sprint car on with the wing. We don't have to take it off. So when we go sprint car racing, this trailer is just a little bit easier to take then the little one over there where we have to stack everything in there it's super super crowded even when we get to the racetrack it feels like there's just not that much room but without further ado I know this has been a very highly requested video I've seen a lot of comments asking and I'm a little bit late I said like one to two weeks it's been more like two to three to almost a month now but yeah let's just jump right into this trailer tour so here is a quick look at the outside of the race trailer before we jump to the inside this thing comes out at a whopping 30 feet long and just to stand in front of it real quick, I know the lighting's not great, but a few feet longer than our previous one, and then it definitely has a few feet to the height, which for, uh, like I said earlier, meeting our needs. We can roll the sprint car right in with the wing on. It just makes going to and from the racetrack much easier. And another thing to get at, like I said, the trailer is just much larger, so we don't have stuff all scattered in there like when we're packing it up. There's a specific place for tires, torsion bars, shocks, and et cetera. We could go on and on for days of where we're gonna put stuff. So we're gonna jump into the inside right now. But yeah, as you see, much taller, much longer. Trailer's great. Let's go to the inside. So you come to walk in the race trailer, the first thing you have is this big old heavy door. Compared to our old trailer, it's much heavier. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but really not that big of a deal. First thing here on the left, you get oil or grease on your hands or anything like that. You need a paper towel dispenser to clean them off. We got that. And then here to the left, you have the wheel wrench that sits here. This is gonna be really bright, but like I said, it's the little things about this race trailer. We just have places to put stuff. A quick look at the whole inside. As you can see, it's very well organized. Next, we have these two cabinets on the left. And in here, we have the shocks on the right and then all of our torsion bars on the left. And then on this cabinet to the left, just a nice place to hang up my suit inside. And then in here, we have two wing trees, some radius rods, and then a few zip ties if we need them. And then in this side, we don't really have as much for sure, but we do have like, for example, good old mud scraper. We're definitely gonna need this at the racetrack. And then down over here, we keep all the gears. But other than that, not really much here in the right side. In the next item, all you have to do is look up. This is where we're gonna be keeping our spare wing. Let's say if we get in a flip during the night or even more just like a little Tommy tip over, we can take that thing down really quick, throw it on the car and it is ready to go. And then up to the right here, we have our two front nose wings. Let's say someone spins out in front of me. I just hit it, need to throw on a new nose wing. We got two all ready to go. You can take them down in seconds and throw them on the car. And then the tire rack. Right now, here on the bottom, that's, that's not a sprint car tire, but we got three rear tires, and then we got the front ones. We got two right here, and then three more rear tires. Probably one of my favorite things about this race trailer. If you can remember back to last season in our old trailer, if it looked like this, we would have like a few rear tires here all stacked up. We'd have the car, the gas can somewhere surrounded in there, and then try to fit a quad up towards the front. But this way, it just makes it so much easier. We have the rear tires, we can, you know, uh, get them all assorted how we wanted, rear tires, front tires, whatever. Definitely makes going to the races a lot easier. And then over to our left, we have our toolbox. Don't got too many tools in here as of right now because we're switching them in and out of the go-kart trailer. Just for example, got a few wrenches right there and then I always have to keep my x stack tear-offs right here. I'm gonna need a lot of these at the sprint car races. The outlaw cart's not so much. I might go through three or four a night. Uh, if it's wet at Cycleland, you know, during hot laps, might be more like five, six, or seven. But yeah, I, I always have to use a ton of those at the sprint car races. And there is one more thing in the race trailer that will never leave and that's rags. Oh my goodness, at the sprint car races, these things are so handy. We'll use so many of them on the car. These things never leave this trailer. And then this next cabinet, it's actually kind of neat. It just folds right down. Open this up. And this is where we will be keeping all of our race fuel. Very easy to get to. And then when you're done, flip it right back up and you're good to go. 
Now, as we close in to the front of the trailer, you just climb right up this ladder, and this is where we'll be just keeping our spare front ends, and then we have a spear, re uh, spare rear end over there. And then we have two spare mufflers right there, but mainly all of our spare parts will just be coming up here. Then you just climb back down this ladder, and that's the whole inside of the race trailer. This thing's a beauty. Spare wing, we got radius rods, shocks, torsion bars here, gears and mud scraper over here, and then toolbox and tires up at the front. There is one more thing though. It's kind of cool up here. You have the generator up front, and then like I showed you at that Cottage Grove video, I can climb up this ladder, do some vlogs up there, and also some cool time lapses, like from the West Coast Nationals when I did one of the whole pit area. So that's the whole inside of the race trailer. One more quick look at it. 30 foot long trailer. Oh, I just, I, I'm loving this thing. I cannot wait to get to the sprint car races more with it. But there is one more thing I wanna do before this video ends, and that is I have some fan mail. As you can see, it's like partially opened. Carly thought it was just a regular piece of mail, and then I was like, no, wait, that, that's my fan mail. Don't open it yet. And so, yeah, we're just gonna open this deal right up. Might as well rip it up just like Carly did. I don't know what she was doing there. All right, so he drew the sprint car, which in my opinion is even more perfect because uh, this is the sprint car trailer. Look at that thing right there. So you got the track and then uh, the white and black 18T. We got three pick. Oh, he's got a little bit of a letter. Dear Tanner, I hope you enjoy my drawing and my YouTube channel is Adam1234. Guys got to go hit him up. And my Instagram is Sawyer08. I hope you get a lot of wins. Hey, thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate it. And he's from Iowa. That's even that's awesome. I love Iowa. This is a really, really cool drawing. You got the outlaw cart, and then we got a really cool close-up of me with my LaJoy headrest. Thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate this. If you guys want to send in fan mail, all the P.O. box links are in the description below. You guys can get a shout-out in my videos. I mean, Adam went over and over and above with these drawings. Sent in two and then a really, really nice letter. So those, thank you so much, Adam, I appreciate it. So that is it for the trailer tour. I mean, it feels like this video is gonna be an hour long. I've literally been shooting for an hour. I've messed up so many times. Maybe we'll have to throw some of the bloopers in at the end, but yeah, it's probably gonna be like a three or four minute trailer tour. It seemed very short. But yeah, we have the wing, tires, we have, we have so many cool things. I cannot wait to take this thing to the racetrack more. It just, like I said, it fits all of our racing needs, and it's just such a great trailer. And yeah, I know I'm starting to ramble on about it, and I'm saying the same thing over and over again. It's, it's a great trailer. It's a great trailer. It's a great trailer. Yeah. Anyway, yo, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, guys, if you do not follow my Instagram and Twitter in the description below, if you guys ever want to message me or you just you want someone to talk to about racing, always hit me up. I always respond to all my messages. I really enjoy talking to you guys. I've been, t actually this week, it seems like I've been talking to 20 plus of you. So I do want to say I enjoy all of your guys' messages. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. This weekend we're running cycling, and I'll be back in the factory QRC number 18T. So I'm going to have to see our 500 on the side. We're not going to probably be running the 450 for two weeks. And uh, if when we do, it's going to be at Cottage Grove. That's the plan. We're going to be trying to run double duty in the outlaw cart and the sprint car Friday and Saturday night at Cottage Grove here in two weeks. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Deuces.